Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting East Coast Honda, and I'm checking out the redesigned 2018 Honda Fit. Now this one is in the sport trim level, which is a new trim level for the 2018 year model. So let's go ahead and check it out. This Fit is sitting on 185, 55 Firestone tires wrapped around 16 inch alloy wheels painted a gloss black looking all sporty. Now it has ventilated disc brakes in the front and drum brakes in the back. The name of this color is Orange Fury. Love the color, love the name. So the sport trim level has a little bit of a distinct look in addition to the gloss black wheels. You also have a red accent across the front right in here. You can see it right in this area within the black. Now that's what they call a lip spoiler. Giving it that sporty look here in the front as well. And the grill is a combination of a gloss black and a chrome. You have fog lights and a halogen reflector housing. And you have halogen headlights in a reflector. And the bezel has the chrome and a little bit of a black accent there. So this is what the key looks like. It's pretty traditional key. Has the key fob with the lock and unlock and the panic button and the Honda emblem here on the, uh, you know, all together in one piece. Let's go ahead and push that panic button and see what happens. So it's just gonna flash the lights and beep the horn. Now the proximity system is actually available on the other, some of the other trim levels, but the Sport, this is the kind of key you get. Okay, so let's take a look at the profile of the vehicle. So it has a fairly short nose in the front and lots of headroom for the passengers. And then it kind of tapers there a little bit in the back for the cargo area. But uh, check out that strong line that it has right in here. Right on that door, just kind of dividing it up a little bit and adding a little bit of style. And I think the black wheels really go well with this color. So let's go ahead and start here on the passenger side. All right, here's the inside of the passenger door. Now you have a soft to the touch portion right here, but everything else, armrest, and all the way up in here is a smooth, hard plastic. Easy to clean and very durable, so those are some of the positives about that. And then there's a cup holder with a large storage space there in the door in a more forward position. And here's your threshold area and your seats, cloth seats, with the contrast stitching in the orange, kind of matches the outside of the vehicle. Then you have a little bit of a pattern there as well. Now I've heard some of the, some people say that the previous year model fits, uh, the seats weren't as comfortable as they would like. Now these particular seats, I've sat in them, I kind of bounced around in them, and they seem to be as comfortable as any other vehicle that I've sat in, I mean, not, not just about any of it, just a standard vehicle, this price range is gonna be very similar to this. Um, of course, there's softer seats out there, but it didn't appear to bottom out or anything like that. And I'm a pretty good sized guy. So, you know, it could be maybe sitting in it for long times. I don't know, maybe they've improved the actual seat uh, for the 18 model. I'm not sure as far as that goes, but it seems pretty comfortable to me. So I wanted to address that since I've heard so much about that in the past. So the seats are manually adjusted and check out the legroom. So you notice it kind of dishes out and gives you a little bit more room, a little bit. In, so I have the seat all the way back. So this little bit of space right there is not utilized by your feet typically, but you notice it opens up as much as possible. It doesn't really taper. Matter of fact, it gets wider back in this area and then a little bit to the left on that side, but uh, pretty wide open for your legs. So let's go ahead and take a look in the glove compartment. Smooth plastic, pretty standard size. Okay, here's the inside of the back door. 
So same deal as far as the um, surfaces, hard plastics everywhere except for right in here where the cloth is. And then you have a bottle holder and all that. There's your threshold. And back here, you pretty much have a bench seat for three passengers. And, but they're the magic seats. They have lots of capability. You can flip them up. You can get room um, actually underneath the seats. There's some space. You flip the seats up, so that way you have a op wide open space for cargo space. You can also fold them down to add to the cargo space in the back, or you can fold down the front seat and make like a, kind of like a, a bed to lay down in or, or, or lift your legs up if you're sitting in the back seat. It's really, really cool and, and versatile uh, as far as you know, a vehicle this size having that much capability as far as cargo space. So the floorboard, you can see the center portion, there's a very, very slight hump in the center. So the center passenger is not going to uh, have to deal with, a, deal with it too much. Little pocket in the back of the front seat here on the passenger side. And the seats here in the back have the isofix or uh, latch system for car seats. Okay, so looking at the back of the Fit Sport, you can see it has that spoiler in the back, little antenna on the very top. There's your third brake light. It also has a little windshield wiper. Backup cameras here on the left side. It has the Sport badging. Combination of LED and standard bulbs for your tail, tail lights. And check it out. Right in here, it has that same red accent across the back and a little diffuser and a chrome exhaust tip, isn't that nice? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look in the cargo area. So if you have all the seats occupied with passengers, this is your cargo space, which is not too bad. I'm gonna put all the volumes and measurements and all that stuff in the description so you can read all the specifics if you want to, specs. Um, but just to give you a general idea of what it looks like back here, pretty adequate for the average person, especially considering uh, folding these seats down and how much space you can actually have once you fold them down. Now, it's a 60-40 split right here. You can fold down one or the other combination of both so you can have a combination of cargo and passenger space depending on your needs in the moment all right so this right here this one has the cargo mat which is nice this lifts up see what's under here a little bit of more cargo space and your tools for your spare tire and your spare tire is located under here Fuel door is lockable and you release it there and it's on the driver's side, which is nice. And there's your cap with a little tether system and a place to hang the cap right here. So it's out of the way and you don't lose it. Okay, so before we go too much far further, I wanna show you the window sticker. So you can see this is the Sport and it has the um, 1.5 liter See if you can see that 1.5 liter four cylinder engine with 128 horsepower. Now, if you get the manual transmission, it'll be a little bit higher, so it'll be like 130 horsepower or something like that. Um, but you know, very close. And it is a, it is a uh, VTEC engine, and this one's paired with the CVT transmission. It does have the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, which we'll get to in a little bit. And there's your little information on the uh, LED brake lights and all that stuff, fog lights. And then there's your MSRP. Not too bad for a vehicle 2018. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, so here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat. Now you notice it has, the, the floor mat's not in place yet, but check it out, it has these places to hook them in. And under that is like this plastic right here, um, protect the carpet. Has a pretty basic, kind of like a felt carpeting in this vehicle. There's your accelerator and brake pedal and a foot rest on this far side here. So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. To open the hood, there's a latch right here in the very center. Just reach in, move it to the left, and lift the hood up. So you can see the little latch right there. And it does require a prop. There's a prop right there to hold the little hood up. Little tiny hood, it's not very heavy, easy to hold up. So there's your uh, 1.5 liter, four cylinder engine, 128 horsepower paired to a CVT transmission. You notice not, it's not covered up with a big plastic cover, which is nice, you can actually see in there. And I can lift the hood up quite a bit so we can see in there a little bit better with the lighting situation. Has an insulated firewall back there. Strut towers are integrated into the ace body structure. And it has a, uh, the battery, a little tiny battery here on the right side, that's neat. And I'll leave some uh, link to the Earth Dreams website so you can get an idea of what that's all about as far as the technology behind it and, and maybe even the VTEC if you're not familiar with that. Inside of the driver's doors, just like the other side, except for it has a few more buttons. Now the driver is special because they have the automatic power window. One touch down and one touch up. Door lock controls, your side mirrors are adjusted here. You just pick a side and then use that little pad. There's your threshold. And carrying on with the driver being more special and having more features, they have a manual seat, but it's height adjustable. So you have this lever right there to adjust the height of the seat for the special driver. So you have an eco button right here. Kind of save you some gas. You also have the traction control off button right in there. This default is on and it has a tilt steering column that also telescopes and you just lock it in place right here in the center. Okay let's take a look here on the inside. Looking nice and air conditioning feels nice and cool. It's a really hot day today. Uh, it's actually saying 101 on there but, but the humidity is really high as well so it's just one of those Hot days, but the in, inside of the vehicle, it's fairly quiet and cool, and the seat feels comfortable to me. And uh, look at all the leg room here. So I have the seat all the way back, and probably this will be my driving position. I'm six feet tall, so you know, just about perfect for me. Especially the the footrest there on the far side is a good angle, and lots of knee room here. And I really like this cup holder here on the left side. So not only can you put your cup in there as you're getting in the vehicle you can just simply place it there especially if you have hot coffee in your hand and you want to set it down gently you have it right there before you get in the vehicle and also it's conveniently right there in front of the vent so the vent kind of serves to in the summertime cool your, keep your drink cool or in the, in the winter time you'll have a winter time you'll have your coffee there and then you have the heat blowing on it keeping it warm so that's pretty cool and it is a little bit adjustable so uh, I really like that position of a cup holder. That's that's always been impressive with the fit for me. Okay, so let's start here on the steering wheel. It's a leather wrap steering wheel with a contrast stitching on this inside. And then you have this little, this little uh, screen right here, which is nice. You can see through it. Kind of give it a nice look and then accented with this metallic accent around the outside. And the steering wheel, it's not, it could, it's a little bit, I guess it's a little bit soft to the touch, but it's kind of a normal gripping steering wheel. And as far as the size, it's pretty good size. My hands are kind of big, so it could be a little bit larger, but other than that, it's pretty good. All right, so you have your cruise control here on the right side. It does have paddle shifters for the sport mode, since it is a sport model here on the, uh, on the back of the steering wheel. And then you have your volume for your radio, so you can change through your tracks or your um, presets 
your favorites on your if you're listening to the radio and then you can change your audio source here and then this button right here is um, we'll get to that in a minute I'm going to push it so you can see on the screen you can kind of switch back and forth through your phone to your radio and then you just rest on the one that you want and then this button uh, pops up a menu system right here so you can utilize these buttons for something a little bit different uh, it's like an alternate choice as far as these buttons right here so right now they're volume but as soon as you push that button now we have a uh, the ability to have a back we can scan we can save a preset we can seek we can change it a little bit depending on what we want using that button then down here is your Bluetooth controls you have your audio voice recognition you can answer and hang up calls here windshield wiper controls are on the right side and your turn signals on the left side but it also has your headlight controls. You have off, parking, automatic, and your headlights. Fog lights can be turned on and off here. Okay, so here's your gauges. So you can see it's down inside of a bezel, helping with the glare, but also kind of giving you some eye relief. Um, so when you're transitioning your eyes from the road to the gauges, a little bit of a distance there and also uh, the contrast between the white lettering and the flat black background and the uh, and everything makes it easy to focus on So if your RPMs there on the left side right here in the center that big dial is your speedometer and on the right side you have your uh, Fuel gauge at the very bottom and then this screen has a lot more information there, but check it out just in general um, You have the blue background and now these little blue bars here on the side here and here uh, they'll turn green as you're driving and so as I, see if I can pull up a little bit. As I drive around, the faster I go, it's going to uh, turn green. And as long as I'm staying in the, uh, like an eco mode, so it'll turn white as I get out of that, def that, that eco mode, uh, depending on my driving habit. So it's kind of like a driving aid, those little bars. Okay, so let's kind of zoom in right here. So we can see the more information here. So you have a digital clock. You also have your real time miles per gallon, a little bar right there. Your odometer, and then you have your trips right there in that center. And this is how you can go and cycle through, get some more information, your range, miles per gallon, and you have your trip A and B, oil life, and then it goes back to there, to your trip. Okay, so four-way flashes are here. And here's your touch screen. Now it has a volume knob. That's your only physical thing. Everything else is soft to the touch or touch screen. So you have your home button here on one of these soft to the touch buttons or soft touch buttons. And you have quick links to all the different things that uh, you can go to in this particular vehicle, this particular uh, touch screen system. Okay, so let's look at the audio. So you have your presets there at the bottom, and then it kind of shows you what's playing. You can change your audio source here. AM, FM, uh, USB, iPod, Bluetooth, Pandora, and your smartphone connection. This will be Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, things like that. Then your phone, you can pair one here. I don't have one paired, um, but once you do pair it, you'll have access to your phone calls, your recent calls, your phone book, and all that. Let's go to the Info tab. And we can get some current drive information and then your trip A information. Settings. There's all your different settings. There's lots of different things you can go into and and, and set up and adjust. Just you got you can change the background background color, that's nice. And then you have Honda Link. This is actually an app that goes on your cell phone, and I'm not going to enable it for the driver, the owner of the vehicle, but um, there's a lot of features there that, this is a menu for certain screens you can go into, and then you have a back button which you can get out of certain screens, 
and then of course we saw the, the volume there. This is for your day and night mode to adjust your day and night brightness so we can change it on how we want it. Climate control is down here. So you have your temperature, your fan speed, where you want the air to blow. It's pretty straightforward. You recirculate the air or have fresh air come in. And then your air conditioning and your rear defroster is right in here. So this is a USB port uh, for connecting your cell phone, but also charging your cell phone. It's a 1.5 amp USB charger. 12 volt power supply on that side. And you have little storage pockets with cup holders. Now you notice the cup holders are open in the center, so you can utilize that space for more than just cups if you want to. And here's your shifter, and check it out. It has this leather wrapping with a contrast stitching, kind of like a baseball. It's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. And once we do that, the backup camera will pop up here. So you notice the backup camera is not in the center position, a little bit to one side. Um, so that gives you this, bright, this real wide view so you can see behind the vehicle. You can actually change the view to a more straight linear view and then a top down more more of a top down view and this is just using the lens and just and changing the distort changing and correcting for the distortion of the wide angle view there's only one camera but it just uh, gives you different views there drive there's neutral and then drive and then there's sport mode so this is kind of like the opposite of eco mode which will uh, focus on performance over fuel economy and you, this is where you can use your paddle shifters so when you're in sport mode you can drive around in sport mode M to put it in manual mode you just start pushing your paddle shifters and you'll know what gear you're in because it'll show right here next to your uh, rpms now one thing to note this is a cvt transmission so it doesn't really have gears like you would two cogs you know meshing together it has a but it does have speed ratios which is basically the same thing as just the way the connection is a little storage spaces right here there's your handbrake parking brake armrest and a little bit soft i mean it's not that soft it bottoms out quite quickly and then you have some contrast stitching this lifts up and you have some storage space in here. You also have a 12 volt power supply and another USB charger. Now that's a one amp. Rear view mirror has a manual day and night mode. And you have your tap light for your interior lights here. The visor has a mirror in it. Okay, let's look at the visibility in the back. So, lots of glass, lots of windows to look out of. Of course, the, you know, passengers, if they happen to be in place, or cargo stuff will get in the way, but overall, pretty good. I mean, you do have the little windows there in the far back, as well as the, you know, the second row windows, and the rear, the rear glass is just fantastic as far as seeing out of. Backup camera, of course, helps out. Okay, there you have it, 2018 Honda Fit Sport at East Coast Honda. Thank you for watching, and hopefully this has been helpful. Now you're familiar with the vehicle, you can go take one for a test drive if it's something you're interested in. So thank you for watching. Thank you to East Coast Honda here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle. Another awesome vehicle, that is. And I'll see you guys next time.